Welcome back to Peace Fight Back. Today's video was an appointment day, although I actually ended up filming the day after the appointment as well. This is actually take two of this intro because I filmed it before. And basically what I do is I film my intros and then um, take a coffee up to my room and have my coffee in my bed. And I went and I was having my coffee in my bed and I had a huge nosebleed and it went like all down my top. So, intro take two. It is appointment day today and I am excited because I have worked really hard the last week and I know it's going to pay off. I know it's, I know to be able to go in and be like, I've managed everything that I wanted to plus some. I'm so, so hoping I can come out the chair today. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I am anxious, but I'm also excited because hard work pays off. Um, but yeah, sitting down to breakfast. Um, I've already had my first coffee, so I'm actually sitting right down to breakfast now. Um, I've got my teaspoon that says never give up and very appropriate for the last few months, especially the last few weeks, especially the last week where I've just really pushed myself. Um, but yeah, time to go get my cereal. Is currently pre-appointment. Um, today is a big appointment because I am going to come out the wheelchair today. I know I am. I've worked so hard for it. I feel like things have really changed this week, not only physically, which was difficult, but also I was proud of myself because like, I was like, my leggings don't fit like they used to, but that's okay because that's what I've been working towards. But mentally I feel stronger and I just, I know it's going to happen today and I've just got a good feeling, so yeah, going into my appointment with that excitement, slight anxiety, but excitement as well, will be good. This was my little outfit of the day, complete with positive socks of course, um, had my apple and a Quest bar for my morning snack, and because the Quest bar was a bit lower, I also had um, a Sorin slice with my morning snack. I just really, really wanted a Quest bar, but obviously I boosted my morning snack up, so had to make up for the fact that it was a bit lower. Um, then had my appointment. Me and Mum had taken lunch with us because we thought it might be a long one. Um, so we went to Tesco's afterwards to do the food shop, but we had lunch first in the cafe. I didn't take a picture because I was talking to mum and I was a bit upset about everything. Um, but I had a hummus falafel wrap, some crisps and my yoghurt, which you can probably see in the background of my, um, snack photo earlier if you want to go and see it. I'm not quite out the chair yet. Um, I'm very, very, very close. It will definitely happen next week if I have another week like I did this past week. Um, but it can't happen today. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm a bit all over the place at the moment, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Excuse the fact. I'm still in my coat. Um, we got back from my appointments a while ago, but I've just been <sighs> struggling a lot. Um, we still need to make the food plan for this week, and every time I go and look at it, my brain is just freaking out. Um, and I still hadn't chosen my snack for today, this afternoon, and it's now 15 minutes until snack, and... I know I need to keep pushing myself, um, but I'm just, I'm just tired and finding it hard. Um, 
So I said to mum, can you just, can you just pick one of the bars? And I put out all the bars that are most challenging because I need to push myself, despite the fact that everything in my head is telling me to, to just have a day off. <laughs> so my afternoon snack, I'm having a bar that I have not touched for a year. It's been in my freezer for a year. Um, it's like an Easter egg one and it's got like mini eggs and all that kind of stuff on it. All the things that V likes. My anxiety is just so high today. Um, and I'm just feeling everything and I'm just tired. Um, but I know I need to keep going. So, deep breath. And just keep going. My head was so ridiculously noisy over this, but I knew that I wanted to have this bar. So, bar review. It was amazing. Um, it's their Easter edition, so it had white chocolate, and then it had um, like a cream egg fondant filling. Um, had mini eggs on top. The only bit I didn't like were the chocolate coated cornflakes because they'd gone kind of soggy, but I finished it all. Then me and mum went on my little walk and this is me trying to get a picture with hugs but as we've learnt he moves quite a lot um, so we didn't really manage to get a successful one but I hope you enjoy these series of photographs anyway. So I've just had a difficult day and um, we had a plan for dinner, obviously still having pasta um, and we picked up some stuffed pasta today and I, we weren't going to have it until later in the week, but due to unforeseen circumstances, we need to go out in like 20 minutes. Um, so we need something quick. So we're having stuffed pasta tonight now. Um, I haven't had stuffed pasta in a really long time and I have absolutely no idea if I'll like it. Um, and yeah, going to have it anyway. Um, yeah, I might like it. To be honest, it's been such a difficult day. I don't think much more can knock me. So, just gonna keep on going. We've got our next pasta meal and we've got stuffed pasta. And mum has helped me put a bit of cheese on it as well. Because cheese is good. This was two big fears in one. I've not had stuffed pasta for absolutely years. Um, and then mum was like, why don't we try a bit of cheese on top? And I was like, ah, that's scary. Um, but I know that Fee loves cheese and cheese is nothing to be scared of. So I took a deep breath and I know it was only a sprinkle, but it was a step in the right direction and just going to keep working on these things. Um, so yep, yeah, finished all of my pasta and then had my yogurt straight afterwards, of course. I had very much a calm evening and did loads of my paint by numbers. Then I obviously had my night snack and I wanted to finish this day on this quote and then moving on to the next day. I didn't film a huge lot on the next day. Um, my head was just in a bit of a mess. But for breakfast I had my porridge with my toast of course gotten a few questions about the spreads on my toast um it's white chocolate and biscoff and i just absolutely love it together it's such a good combination i highly recommend it then for my morning snack i had the birthday cake grenade bar and an apple um for lunch i had a ham mayonnaise sandwich with some crisps and then i tried this liberty honey yogurt which was okay but i wouldn't repeat it for my afternoon snack today i'm having my favorite biscoff brownie and it is the most challenging one, but it's also the tastiest one for me, so I'm going to enjoy it. I don't even know if I need to review this one anymore. Um, white chocolate and Biscoff, basically the two best things on the planet. You can't go wrong with this bar. It's probably my favourite one, but it's near impossible to get hold of, so I ration them to like one a month. <laughs> I have very precariously balanced my iPad on the windowsill of my room, so we'll see if this works. 
Um, someone said that I was speaking quite quietly in one of my videos. I do apologise, I've started videoing on my iPad because my phone storage got full. Um, and obviously I think I'm just a bit further away from my iPad, so <clears throat> I will try and be louder. <laughs> um, I was going to do like a bit of an update after yesterday's appointment because I didn't yesterday because my brain kind of melted. Um, I was just really, really tired, struggling to deal with a lot of thoughts um, and I've not really filmed that much today because um, I've been in a bit of a weird headspace with everything. Um, we had a really positive appointment. Um, I didn't, I'd made good progress this week um, and next week we are almost certain that I'll be out of the chair. Um, he said if I have another week like I did last week then it definitely will, definitely will be. Uh, this morning I've just taken it really slowly um, and had a bit of a better afternoon. Um, I've got some really exciting stuff happening in the background which I will share with everyone once it's a bit more confirmed I guess. Um, kind of worky stuff um, and all that kind of stuff. Just things that are really important to me and I think that's what I need to hold on to. I've also found a really good recovery podcast which I'm going to pop in the description for this video because it's helped me so much the last few weeks in just reassuring me that I'm doing the right thing and increasing my intake and everything like that. Anyway, plan for this week is pasta every night again. I am going to keep on challenging it until it is not scary. Challenge, repeat, challenge, repeat, challenge, repeat. And I think that's what I've noticed the last few weeks is doing it once is tricky. The first time's tricky. Doing it every single day is so difficult. That's where resilience comes in. And that's where I've struggled in the past. I'm kind of like, I'll do it once and then it's done. But it's difficult to keep going at it. And that's what I need to keep doing. Challenge, repeat repetitive, do it again, do it again, do it again. So that's the plan for this week. So yeah, not a huge amount to update on, hopefully a much more exciting appointment day video next week. Um, I'm also seeing my psychiatrist this week, just for a meds review and things like that. So yeah, deep breath and just keeping on going. Obviously had my pasta again for dinner, had pasta and sausages with an orange squash and then I had my yoghurt afterwards. I had a phone call with one of my friends in the evening and then I had my night snack and I wanted to finish this video on this quote. 